automated that walks you through how to go ahead and set up things, how to change the design, how to do the content. So if you miss anything today and you purchase a project, you should be able to use these same tips and tools and it will walk you through what you want to get done. Okay, great. So now that we've kind of done this, we can, we can go through the getting started menu, right? Or we can just go ahead and get started in the actual editing the website, right? Right. A little bit more of a live look. Okay. So we'll go ahead and X out of this one. And I see here all these different icons on the right side. Is this where we want to get started? That's going to be your actual um, menu bar that you're going to be using when you go through and use the product. And as Aaron hovers over, you can see the kind of change color when you hover over it, and that's how you know you're selecting that one. Going from the bottom up, you can see that um, there are, this is actually linked to your main package within the 101 control panel. So if you had locked directly in the admin.101.com to get in, you would have seen all the other tools in there, like how to set up your email, how to add domains to your account. Mm -hmm. If you have the email marketing tool, you'll be able to administer it from there. But this is going to link you back to that admin control panel in case you decided to log in through your website. Okay, great. Okay? Aaron, in his Mr. Wiggles um, guise, has already signed up for a package that has email marketing in it. So you can see that's the next step that's above there is uh -huh. setting up the email marketing tools, sending newsletters out to customers, uh -huh. getting those lists together. Yeah, so this is the advanced package. We actually have the biggest package. Yeah, we do for the purposes the of the webinar. Feature set. Yep. Okay, great. Just something to keep in mind. So Maybe. I guess first we wanted to go and start taking a look at the layout or? Yeah, we can. We just go on up and uh, up to the very, very top. You can see the layout option is up there. Um, when you click on it, you're going to get a little pop-up window that comes out, and this is where you, this is one of the coolest features of the site for me, because usually when you're designing a website, or back in the day when we used to design websites, and mm -hmm. having done that myself, it was really difficult to make sure that if if you needed to change the layout on one page, that you had to change it on every other page and make sure they matched. Oh, okay. So it's not automated. You. It wasn't. Huh, okay. This is automating it for you. So hmm. when you change the layout on one page, it's going to change it on every page, so you don't have to go through doing clicking as many pages as you have. If you have ten pages of content, the last thing yeah. you want to do is is change something ten times and then get done and decide you didn't like it anyway. Yeah. Okay. So okay. this is definitely again, I I love this instant gratification of it. As you look at it, it's going to show you the different options for choosing a layout. You'll see that the navigation bar moves from the top to the side. You can see that the the main graphic might be a little bigger in some of them, might be a little smaller in others. You can see that some of them have the background color showing up more prominently. Some are, are with a very white background. There's some that are a little bit more creative. And the nice thing is, is if you, if Aaron, if you just want to go ahead and choose one there. I like this one. This one looks good. And what's going to happen, which ironically Aaron chose the same template he chose before. So wow. that's good. I'm really into it. So, so the preview really is like showing it. you exactly what you had. But... The nice thing about it, what you saw there, when you see the preview option that pops up, it's going to ask you, are you sure you really want to change this? Yeah. You know, if you don't like how it looks, like for example, looking at that, I uh, don't really care for it as much. The menu's uh -huh. down the left instead of across the top. You can say no, and it'll take you back to where you were, or you can choose back, and you can choose another one again. Okay. So it's, it's, it's cool that way. It's, it's making it really easy for you. It's giving you a preview and giving you the option to say yes or no before it makes the final change. Okay, so this is one that looks good. So let's say we wanted to keep this. We just click yes. Yes, and if you didn't, you click no. Click yes, and it's good. Now, to save any changes, this is important, right? You have to always click save. Uh, when you're changing, this automatically saved. For for the layout changes, yeah. clicking yes is automatically going to save it for you. Okay. In other portions of the site that we'll look at a little bit later, you will see a save button. It's really critical to press the save button, yeah. otherwise you're only going to see a preview and it's not going to keep yeah, it. Yeah, there have been some disasters, so always, always, always hit save. Always hit save, okay. which is the same thing you have even on your word processing documents. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so going back into layout, if you did want to do a custom layout, you could also do that, right? Right, this is for those of you who had that little bit of expert level in there, if you mm -hmm. really want to get in there and mess with your CSS, or you want to upload your own files, or change the basic containers for your HTML, you can go ahead and do that here. And if you didn't understand any of what you just said, don't do that. Yeah, do not <laughs> do not change those things if you do not know what that meant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, keep it simple. Okay, so that's the basic layout that's very general. Now let's say we wanted to go in and start editing some of the content in there. Well, before we do that, just because I see that this is a little bit difficult to read at the moment, mm -hmm. just want to point out the style setting that's in there right underneath layout. You'll see that right now it's a little bit hard for Aaron to see uh, the buttons that are in his navigation. 
If you go into the style menu, you'll actually be able to change the basic colors for your site, whether it's the overall color scheme, or if you want to change where those blue um, alleyways are on the side, you can also change that. So just keep in mind that the text is totally separate from the layout, is totally separate from the colors. Mm -hmm. You can change all of that, and it won't delete the choices you've made in the other sections. Okay. Uh, okay, so you can see here all the different color schemes. Exactly. Okay, great. All right, so we've got our layout. It's, I think it's okay. Sure. What do you think? I don't think you like it. I don't think I like it. All right. Just because it's blue, I think yeah. it's a little bit hard to read. So if we go back and, and choose maybe that one's fine. This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just since everybody's looking on different monitors, it might be a little bit easier if they can read everything. Yes, okay. In, that in a really sense. clear color. Rather than not being able to read it? Yeah, I, I go for being able to read it. Hour. That is yeah. a web design tip, by the way. Yeah. Um, make sure you can read it. <laughs> All right, so now that we've mastered the layout, we've taken a look at the style very briefly, mm -hmm. we want to get into actually editing some of the content of the page, right? Right. First thing, first thing people notice when they come to your page is going to be your header. Um, this is something that was always really difficult when you wanted to set up a website because you had to put in all those different elements separately. So if you go ahead and click there, you can see as soon as you hover over something in this, it's going to say edit, and then you know you're in the right place. It's going to bring down a little bit of a menu, and you can see that we've already got some pictures in there that you can choose from. Like if you don't like the picture of the woman who seems to be cutting the hair of the dog, let's say you prefer yeah. cats or something, you could choose another picture. So you just simply click on the picture. You click on it, and it's going to update it for you. Okay, and there you go. Aw, how sweet. Kittens, very nice, very nice. And now you can see, Aaron. actually your Mr. Wiggles pet grooming is awfully hard to see because it's in black text. So go ahead and move on over to where it says title. And this is one of my favorite things in this product. I play with this regularly. It's fun. You'll also find it slightly addictive. Um, what you can see there is you've got this nice little color swatch. So, Aaron, go ahead and click on maybe white or a light color, yellow maybe, something a little bit brighter. Right in here? Sure. Okay. Just click and drag. You can drag it. You can click it. If you knew the hex code, I would be impressed. You could also put that in there. Let's say you have a specific um, font um, color you're using for uh -huh. your business. You can put that in there and, and match a, it perfectly. That's six-digit code up here? Yes, it is. Okay. So, yellow I think is fine. You can go ahead and click on the color swatch the exact shade you want, and you can see it instantly changes for you. Hmm. So really nice. And you can play around with the colors, get the perfect mix that you want in there. Um, you can also upload your own picture if you don't like the ones we have default. It's totally up to you. Hmm. Okay. Now let's say you, that's a little small. You know, you want it to be a little bit more dramatic. You see the slider underneath where it says font size? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and drag that on over. Wow. Mod no more automatic. picking 14 or 12 or 18. You can... Just slide, slide it until it. you get what you like. Exactly. Very nice. Okay, automatic. Now, what if uh, it's towards the bottom of the header image? What if I want to kind of change that around? See those sliders for uh, horizontal and vertical? Horizontal is going to move you left and right. Vertical will move you up to the top. Look at that. Okay, I like it there, and we'll move yeah. it vertically. It's pretty easy. Uh, exactly. And on this one, actually, when you hit close, it's going to go ahead and save it for you. I mean, there's also another thing in there. You can upload your own logo if you want to. Mm -hmm. If you're a business, you've already got your logo on there. You're using it on your business cards. Really easy. You just go ahead and browse your desktop for it, choose the file, upload it, and then you'll also see the same kind of sliders for moving it to exactly where you want to position it. Okay. Well, let's, let's take a look at that real quick here. You can click on Browse. Uh, take a look here. It's just going to open up the... Uh, desktop, the file upload, the folder, wherever you have it saved, you click on logo, click open, upload image, see the bar, and there it is. Yep. Now keep in mind, you don't want to make it too much bigger on here. You can do a little bit, but you might get a little pixelated, so make sure you upload the logo the size you would like it to go. Mm -hmm. If you want to delete this one, change the logo, you also have that option. It's not permanently locked in. If your logo changes, obviously you want to go ahead and, and, and fix that. And as Aaron's showing right now, you can Go ahead and move it wherever you want on the screen. Yeah, horizontal and vertical works the same way. Great. Mm -hmm. All right, that looks good. Um, anything else that you think might be good to mention in the header section? Um, you can see that the shop function is there. You don't need to click on it now, but for those of you who do choose the middle package and the, the plus package and the advanced package, uh -huh. there is an option to include a mini shopping cart in your, your pages where you okay. can set up items to purchase for PayPal. So okay. you won't be able to take credit cards, but you would be able to use PayPal, and this is going to be part of your settings, and there's where you want the um, 
shopping cart to show up on the page. Okay, cool. Well, that's that as far as the header goes. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And closing it, we'll save it for okay. this one. All right. Now, what's next? I guess we want to kind of get into some of the text in the middle here. How do you, how do you edit that, the text editing? Yeah, exactly. The first thing you're going to want to do, when you're seeing the content inside of your website, keep in mind that everything that you have in there is editable. You can add to it, you can get rid of it, you can move it up and down on the page. So as Aaron is hovering over the first thing in this middle section, you'll see this little um, box shows up that says add new element. You can see there's also arrows that say up and down and there's a trash can. Trash can, pretty self-explanatory, it's going to delete it for you. The nice thing is, is if you click on it by accident, it's going to ask you to confirm you did really want to delete it, so don't worry, you won't lose it. It was going to make you confirm. Once you have deleted it, it will be gone. Okay. If you want to edit anything, when you hover over it, all you have to do is simply click on it, and it's going to open up the editing tools for that. So, Aaron, what you clicked on there is actually a title, um, a heading, so you can go ahead and change the heading to whatever you'd like it to be. And you can also change what kind of a uh, size you want it to appear in. Okay. Um, all right. So I don't like at home. Uh, we'll just go with Mr. Wiggles bed grooming. Simple. Delete some of that out. You can take a look at the different heading sizes. And when you're done, again, got to hit save. It's going to update it, and it's going to make it a permanent part of your site. Okay. And the other thing to keep in mind, too, is that you can always take a look at the page without actually logging out, right, what, it's, what people are going to see? Exactly. Um, if you wanted to see what everything was going to look without all these add new element things popping up all over the place, you would go to um, page view mm -hmm. down in the bottom right. It's going to be right next to where your log out link is. Once you're logged in, it says log out. Page view will appear there. If you click on it, it will show you exactly what people would see. So when Aaron clicks on it, what's going to happen is, is there are certain elements that will disappear because they're not publicly av available, which we can talk about a little bit later when we talk about the navigation. Okay, but we, we get this question a lot. When, do, when are people who come to the website going to see the actual changes? Once you save the changes, okay. they're going to see the changes. Okay. So and I highly recommend, actually, if you are going to be, if, if you have a live website, mm -hmm and you need to maybe have um, a special offer you want to put on there. And it's going to be, you want to prepare it in advance, but you don't want it to be available for a certain day, uh -huh. which you can go ahead and do. And it's really great about this. If you want to switch back to edit and, and go on over. And to do that, you just click in the bottom. Just click the same page. place where page view was. Hover over to left. That's where our navigation is at the moment. And if you edit the navigation, what you can do is you can actually add a page for your special offers or whatever it is. And there's going to be an option in there where you can make it invisible. Mm -hmm. It's the one that has the eye that's crossed out near the trash can. Okay. And what that's going to do is when you're in editing mode, you'll be able to see that page, you'll be able to change it however you want. When people come to your site, they and you go to that, they're going to see what you saw on page view. Uh, they won't okay. see those extra pages. So okay. you can see anything that's got a line going through it are pages that are not visible to anybody coming to our site right now live, but they're pages we can still work from and edit. Okay. So on the day of the sale, you just go in, make it visible, pop it in there, put mm -hmm. it in the perfect place, and you've got there it ready. You go. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and close out of that. All right, so let's say we wanted to change some more of this text. It's all pretty much the same, right? But when you get into out, out, outside of the titles, when you get into the actual text, it looks a little bit different, right? Yes, it does. It's going to actually open up a really, I think it's a comfortable to use word editor. You mm -hmm. should recognize a lot of the icons that are showing up in there. What you're going to notice is that in the blue section up at the top, that's the text as it currently appears. And then down in the white section in the box, that's the part that you can edit. Any changes that you make in there, they're going to be immediately changing for you in what you do. So if you highlight a word and you want to make it bold, or you want to insert some bullet points, you want to add in some extra text, mm -hmm. you would do that here. And as you said earlier, Aaron, there's going to be a save button down there, and then it's going to go ahead and save it for you. Okay. So any text any changes you want to make? Let's say if we want to take Wayne PA and make that bold, simply highlight it and make it bold. It, it's pretty straightforward. I mean, sure. it's just like it's just like Microsoft Word. It is. It's exact. That's what we were going for. We uh, wanted to make it really easy to use. You can change the color. You can change the um, the bold, the italic. If you are more of an advanced user, you can go ahead and go into the HTML section. It's going to show you the actual HTML code for what's there. If you feel a little bit more comfortable putting in the uh, the HTML, you can do that there. Mm -hmm. So you see it's pretty clean code. It's nice. Simple. For those of you who can appreciate it, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Go ahead, next out of that.